In this presentation, we will continue our discussion on string slicing with Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic is negative third parameter, and the second topic is reversing a string. We will first understand what is negative third parameter. We have already learned what is third parameter in the last lecture. Now let's recall what is the meaning of third parameter in slicing. The third parameter is also called as a step value and it defaults to 1. So the default value of step value is 1 and step value minus 1 specifies the number of elements to skip when slicing the string. So we first need to decrement step value by 1. And it specifies the number of elements to skip when slicing the string. So, how many elements to skip can be judged from this step value minus 1? For example, if we go to our command prompt and type this command s equal to I am just breathe, and if we hit enter, we obviously will not get any error message because this command is correct. Now, let's say we want to type s opening square bracket 0, colon 8, colon 2 and then closing square bracket. Now if we hit enter, we will get this string with four characters I, A, white space and then A. I have already told you the reason why we got this string because we have specified this value 2 here. This value needs to be decremented by 1. We first need to subtract 1 from the step value. This is the step value. We need to subtract 1 from it. This will give us 1 as a result. This one tells us that we need to skip one character every time while reading these characters. Here we have specified 0 to 8, which means we need to access this substring I am just. Because the starting character has index 0 and the last character of this string has index 7. And here we always need to specify the end index plus 1 of the substring which we want to access. Here we are interested in accessing this substring I am just and here we have specified value 2 as a step value. We first need to subtract 1 from it. This will give us 1 and this value 1 is telling us that we need to skip one character every time. So first we need to read this character then skip one character and read this character. Then skip one character and then read this character. Then skip one character and then read this character. We are getting I, A and then white space and then A. After this, we need to skip this character and read this character, but we cannot read this character because we are done with our substring. This is the reason why we are getting this string. If something is unclear and if you want to understand this concept better, I would encourage you to pause this video and go back to the last lecture where we have understood this concept in details. We have understood what is slicing with the third parameter already in the last lecture. Now let's move on to the next topic which is negative third parameter. We now need to understand the working of negative third parameter. For this, we will consider the same example string that is I am just breathe. And we will put the string within an array to better visualize the concept of negative third parameter. Now, let us assume that we have typed this command in our Python interactive shell. We already know the working of positive third parameter. Here, the first parameter is 2, which means that the starting point is index 2. In order to know the ending point or the stopping point, we need to subtract 1 from the second parameter. This will give us 9, which means that we need to stop here. And if we want to know how many elements we should skip, then we need to subtract 1 from the step value. This will give us 1, which means that while reading this entire string starting from 2 to 9, we should skip one element every time. This means that we must read this character, then skip this character, and then read this character. Then we need to skip this character, and then we need to read this character. Then we need to skip this character and then read this character. Then we need to skip this character and of course we need to stop here because this is the stopping point. Hence we will get this string which is A, white space and then A and then P. So one thing is clear that the direction is left to right. 
which means that the direction of reading is from left to right as the third parameter is positive in this case. Now let us assume that we want to read this string from right to left, which means we want this string P A then white space and then A. In order to get this string, what should be the first parameter of S? What should be the second parameter? And what should be the third parameter? This is what we need to determine. It is clear that the starting point should be this index. That is, we must start from here. We must read this character first. This means that the first parameter is 8. Now we need to determine the second parameter. In this case, we know that the second parameter should be 10 because we need to stop here at 9. This means that the second parameter should be 1 greater than the stopping point. But in this case, we are starting from here and we must end here as we need to read this character also. In this case, the direction is from right to left. And now, the next value after this is 1. This means we need to subtract 1 from the stopping point. So we can say that the second parameter must be stopping point minus 1 in this case, not stopping point plus 1. In the previous case, it was stopping point plus 1. In this case, it must be stopping point minus 1. Because this value comes after this value if we read this string from right to left. So, it is clear that the second parameter must be 1. Now, what should be the third parameter? Here we know that while reading this entire string, we need to skip one element every time. This means after reading this character, we must skip this character and then read this character. Then we need to skip this character and then read this character. Then we need to skip this character and then read this character. And we must stop here. Hence, it is clear that the third parameter needs to be 2. But not just 2. We need to mention minus also because now the direction is from right to left and not from left to right. So, this is the significance of negative third parameter. Here, minus sign is indicating the direction, that is, right to left. While in this case, if we won't mention any sign or if we add plus here, this indicates that the direction is from left to right. We need to read characters from left to right. So, the direction in this case is right to left because the step value is negative. I hope this concept is clear. And now I would like to mention some important observations. The first observation is that in order to know the number of elements we need to skip, we need to subtract 1 from this value, that is the third parameter. While in this case, we need to add 1. Because minus 2 plus 1 will give us minus 1. And this indicates that we need to skip one element, but we need to read the characters from right to left. As minus sign indicates that we need to read the characters from right to left. The second observation is that in this case, the first parameter is less than the second parameter. And that makes sense because we were reading the characters from left to right. While in this case, the first parameter is greater than the second parameter because we were reading the characters from right to left, not from left to right. The third observation is that here we need to subtract 1 from the second parameter in order to know the stopping point, which is 9 in this case. While in this case, we need to add 1 to the second parameter in order to know the stopping point, which is 2 in this case. So, I have summarized all the observations about the negative third parameter. The first one is, step value plus 1 specifies the number of elements to skip starting from the last. Second point is, the first parameter is greater than the second parameter. And the third point is, second parameter plus 1 specifies the stopping point. 
So these are all the important points you need to remember about the negative third parameter. Now let's see one more example to concrete this concept. For this we need to go to our command prompt and we need to activate the python interactive shell. Now let's type this command s equal to string and now let's hit enter. After this we need to type this command s within square brackets 5 colon 0 colon minus 1. Now I want you to pause this video for a while and try to answer this on your own. Try to find the string that we will obtain after typing this command. I hope you are done. Ok, let's try to understand what happens if we hit enter after this. We will get G-N-I-R-T, this substring. I hope you got this answer. If not, then no problem. Let's understand this together. Here the first parameter is 5, second parameter is 0 and third parameter is minus 1. So the starting point is 5 which means we need to start here. And in order to know the stopping point, we need to add 1 to the second parameter. This is what we have learned. We need to add 1 to the second parameter which will give us 1 as a result because 0 plus 1 is 1. This means we need to stop here. And here the third parameter is minus 1. Minus indicates the direction and this means that we need to read this string from right to left. And to this value, this entire value, we need to add 1 in order to know the number of elements to skip. As it is mentioned in the first point, step value plus 1 specifies the number of elements to skip. So we need to add 1 here and this will give us 0 which means that we should not skip any character. Hence, we should start from here and end here and we should not skip any character. This means that we will get this string G-N-I-R-T. So this is the string so obtained. I hope this is clear. Now as we have understood how to obtain the substring of a string in reverse order using negative third parameter, let's now try to understand how to reverse the entire string with the help of negative third parameter. We can easily reverse a string with the help of negative third parameter. We need to provide minus 1 as the step value in order to reverse the entire string. For example, if we type s equal to I am just breathe, hit enter. Now let's type s opening square bracket colon colon minus 1 closing square bracket. This will reverse this entire string. Why is that the case? We have not specified the first parameter and the second parameter which means that we want to read this entire string. But as we have specified minus 1 here, we need to read this entire string from the last character to the first character. And here we need to read every character because this value is minus 1. We need to add 1 to it, we'll get 0 as a result, which means we should not skip any character. Now if we hit enter, we will get this string. This is the reverse string. So we can easily reverse a string in Python. We just need to perform this step. That's it. I hope this idea is clear. Let's consider one more string. Let's say s is equal to string. Hit enter and now let's type s colon colon minus 1. This time we have specified again the same thing. Now if we hit enter, we will get G-N-I-R-T-S. This string is reverse of this string. So this is all we need to understand about reversing a string. So now we are done with this topic. We have understood what is negative third parameter and we have understood how to reverse a string. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.